This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you can video I put them out. See them things here, man, lines that day to listen. I, I see a, a lot of guys, they, they're like, oh, we, we're above the 50-day moving average. We're oversold. The RSI, the MACD. The thirteen forty eight crossover, and and, and uh, the, I mean, listen, listen. What works with every other stock in the market doesn't work with AMC and Ape. You can't use the charts to determine what Ape or AMC is going to do. The charts mean absolutely nothing. Because of the criminality involved in the play. So it could be oversold. It doesn't mean anything. It could be overboard. It doesn't mean anything. The, the, the short interest. It doesn't mean anything. We've been at 100% since February. Okay. So so like I tell every day. Those numbers are relevant. Those numbers don't mean anything anything they serve no purpose you know why because of the criminality because of what they're doing do you really think that we're at 100 percent? no we should be at 300 percent. you think it's only 20 percent of, of shares that that are shorted into the market no it, it's probably 300 400 percent of the shares are shorted into the market i mean if you just got to do the numbers or you got to pick pull out a calculator and start adding up well they shorted the entire float every few weeks for two years. I mean, that amounts to billions of shares. So, so when 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 you guys go to the charts to to try to predict what's going to happen with AMC, that makes absolutely no sense to me. What's going to happen is this: this is when AMC is going to move. When the SEC starts doing their job and enforcing the law which I don't believe they will. I don't believe they will because they've been co-conspirators with these guys for so many years that they're, they're homies. They're, they're crimies. They're down with this together. They are down together to rob retail investors and pension funds. But here's the thing that they can't control. They're running out of money. They're running out of liquidity. And the FTX debacle made it even worse because they were using the crypto as collateral to support these shorts. And now they can't even use that anymore because crypto is crashing. So without the collateral, with the liquidity drying up and the money no longer there, they're going to have to cover their shorts. They're going to be forced to sell their loans and cover their shorts. So while you can look at the charts, and I look at the charts for some things. I do look at the charts for some things that I'm not no, no chart genius. I am not. I'm, <laughs> I am not. But when it comes to AMC and APE, and GME too, the charts mean absolutely nothing. It's going to mow ass when they run out of money or some big life-changing event happens, okay? Like maybe we get picked up by Amazon, Disney, and they're forced to, you know, cover all the short positions. They're going to recall all the shares. So something like that is going to bring us to mow ass, not if it's oversold, not if the double bottom, double top, and, and, and all the other things that, that these guys talk about on the charts. The charts mean absolutely nothing when it comes to AMC. What I will tell you this, they're running out of money, the collateral's almost gone, and we're going to go to the moon, we're going to see a generational transfer of wealth, and we're going to see our attendees. Anyway, have a great day, God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.